The trouble is, platinum is costly for a reason. It's extremely rare, difficult to mine, and the refining process takes six months. A half mile down underground, there exists more than 60 miles of tunnels where teams of miners dig for this precious metal round the clock. But even in one of the most platinum-rich areas of the Earth, finding a seam to mine is difficult. They're never more than 10 feet wide, so geologists must take regular samples to test for platinum and its sister metal, palladium. Once a seam is located, the digging machines move in. It's a huge operation since mining less than one ounce of platinum requires digging out a staggering 700 pounds of rock. Once they've got the ore to the surface, it's fed into these giant crushers. The resulting powder is then fed over a special magnetized conveyor belt to extract any iron. The next task is to mix the remaining material with water and pump it full of air. This causes the platinum to collect on top in a froth known as concentrate. It's still only 0.1% pure platinum. And to clean exhaust fumes, it needs to be 98% pure. So the froth is dried and packed into cakes ready for the next stage. Here, the powder cakes are thrown into a furnace to burn off most of the other elements, leaving just the tiny amounts of metal, copper, nickel, palladium, and most valuable of all, platinum. To stop the metals fusing together as they cool, the molten mixture is showered with cold water, causing it to shatter into fine particles. But that's as far as they can go here. Now that the platinum is reaching a valuable concentration, they ship it off to another facility several thousand miles away. The job of this plant is to separate the platinum from other less valuable metals. They do this by using a series of chemical processes, which eventually results in a 98% pure platinum salt. 